purpose of this video is to review some procedures that we'll use in the lab for the standard proctor test that will help you with this introductory DHI chemical engineering class. This slide shows the supplies you'll have for the lab. On the right, you can see a metal container with some air dried soil that has passed a number four sieve. Uh, to the left of that and on the back side, you see the uh, hammer for compacting the soil, five pound weight that once you lift it will drop 12 inches to impact the soil. Um, and then we have the proctor mold. And this uh, top unit here is what is called the collar. And then the bottom section is the actual mold. And that's what we're going to, will be filled with soil at the end of the compaction test. We have a scraper here, which we'll describe in a little more detail later. And then to the left, we have some water that we're going to mix in with the soil. What we're going to do is we're going to assume that this air dried soil has a moisture content of approximately 2%. When we do the test, we, let's say that the, we suspect that the autumn moisture content is at 16% where we're going to want to run tests um, uh, and have a couple of proctor tests that are dry of optimum as well as a couple of tests that are wet of optimum. So if we think that our optimum moisture content is 16%, we're going to start off and add in enough water to get the soil to have a moisture content of about uh, 12%. And that's what that water is there for. So we're going to have to weigh the soil, know how much weight we have there. Um, given that we believe there's 2% moisture content, we can figure out how much of that weight is water, how much of that weight is the solids, and then we can determine how much more water we need to, how much water we need to add to get to our 12% moisture content. We'll go over some calculations later. Um, so uh, that goes over the materials um, and a little bit about soil preparation. Uh, as we get started with the test, we need to disassemble the uh, collar and the mold, and we're going to weigh the mold by itself, get that weight. And so then we will um, record that weight. Uh, let's, we'll just uh, assume that the, for this example, that the uh, mold weighs one kilogram. Uh, now we're ready to uh, begin the proctor test. So what we're going to do is we're going to place some loose moist soil into the mold and we want that soil to the first lift that we're going to put in, we'll put in in, in its loose state, we'll fill up to about a half to two-thirds of the mold, so somewhere in that zone, and then we're going to lift the hammer uh, let it drop to 12 inches and it's going to impact the soil and we're going to do that impact the soil 25 times. So that would be the first lift and then we're going to repeat two more times to fill the mold in with three lifts. On the second lift we'll fill the loose soil up to about the top or just a little bit of the top of the mold and that's what the collar is there for. It allows us to put more soil in than, um, in its loose state. We'll compact it again with 25 blows, and then the last lift, we will place soil up to near the top of the collar, and we'll compact it, and by the time we're done compacting it, the soil should extend just slightly above the top of the mold into the collar. Then we will disassemble the collar, and again, there should be some soil that is um, rising above the collar, so there should be some soil up in this zone here. And we're going to use the scraper to scrape off that excess soil so we have a nice level surface on top of the mold. Once we do that, we'll take the mold off of the base. We'll go over and weigh that. And now we'll have a weight of the moist soil inside our mold. And so we can record that. Uh, as we recall, uh, the we believe the mold has a mass of a kilogram. If we uh, now measure 
get a, get a mass of the mold plus the moist soil. Uh, let's say that we have uh, 2.9 kilograms of, that would be the mass of the mold plus the moist soil. So since we know the mass of the mold, we then know we can then determine the mass of the moist soil, which would be 2.9 kilograms minus our one kilogram. So we're left with 1.9 kilograms of soil. And then we can just multiply that uh, mass by, or actually, I'm sorry, we, we need to get the mass density. So in order to do that, we're going to divide by the volume of our mold. So if I take our 1.9 kilograms and divide that by 9.439 times 10 to the negative 4 cubic meters, we get, and I get just over 2,000 kilograms per cubic meter, so I'll divide that by 1,000 to come up with 2.0, 2.01 megagrams per cubic meter. I can now multiply that by gravity, 9.81, to get the moist unit weight of 19.7. Get, get rid of this. 19.7 kilonewtons per cubic meter. So now I have a moist unit weight. I need to get the moisture content of that soil. And then also, it's then once I get the moisture content, I can determine the dry unit weight. In order to get the moisture content, first I need to take the soil and get it out of the mold. And so we have this hydraulic jack. Um, we're going to jack that up. Uh, it, there's a collar up top that's going to prevent the mold from going up past this top section. Um, and uh, when we do the lab, we'll have a different base that allow the base to push up inside the mold, and that'll allow us to push the soil out or extrude the soil from the mold. Once we get the soil extruded from the mold, we can take a portion, about 100 grams, out of the center portion of that column of soil. We can get a moist weight on that, put it in the oven, dry it overnight, so we then come back and get a, a dry you know, a moisture content. And so then uh, we'll fill out this table we, so we can get our moisture content. We'll have a, a container label that we'll put in there. We'll get the mass of our container. So we might have 5 grams for the mass of our container. Um, and then we'll take that 100 grams of soil, let's say, that we have. So we then put 105 grams of soil um, and uh, put it in the oven, weigh it, come back, uh, and once we weigh it after it's been in the oven for 24 hours, we might find out that we have 94 grams of soil. So we know that the mass of the water is 11 grams. Um, we know that the mass of the uh, solids would be our 94 grams minus 5 grams. And so we have... 89 grams for our dry mass. Then we can get our moisture content. So that would just be 11 divided by 89 times 100. We get 12.4%. So now we have our moisture content. Um, and we can then use that with the information from the unit weights that we obtain to get the dry unit weight. As shown earlier in this lab, we have a single container of soil that we're going to use for the Proctor test. If I were doing this in an uh, actual lab uh, for a client, I would, and I were going to have five points of my Proctor test, I would actually have five containers of soil, and each one would be I'd add water to get it to the appropriate moisture content. Um, for this lab, we don't have enough soil to do that, so we're going to uh, work with the same soil for each of our proctor tests that we, we perform. So this soil, we believe, has uh, approximately 2% moisture content in it, and we want to 
get that moisture content to be 12% before we do our first proctor test, or the first point on our proctor test. So we need to figure out how much water should we add to get this soil to 12% moisture content. So that's what we're going to start doing now is, is going over those, reviewing those calculations so that we can uh, complete, the, complete the lab experiment. After weighing the soil in the container, we find out that the mass of this moist soil uh, is 1,900 grams. Again, we're assuming that the moisture content is 12%. Therefore, the mass of the solids is equal to the total mass divided by 1 plus the moisture content. So we have 1,900 grams divided by 1 plus 0.02. That lets us uh, determine that we have 1,863 grams of solids and 37 grams of water. Now we want to determine how much water do we need to add in order to get this soil to have a moisture content of 12%. So now we'll determine how much water to add. And to do that, we will first recall that we have a moisture content of 12%, and we know the mass of our solids is 1,863 grams. Therefore, we can determine that the mass of the water must be 224 grams. That's the total mass of water that should be in our soil to have a 12% moisture content. So how much should we add? Well, we already know that we have um, 37 grams of water in there, so we'll take our 224 grams minus 37 grams, which indicates we want to add 187 grams of water. We also uh, can recall that uh, one gram of water is equal to one milliliter. So that means we should add 187 milliliters of water to our soil in order to get that soil to have a moisture content of approximately 12%. So we mix in this 187 grams of water with our soil, we'll make sure we get the soil hydrated, and then we do our compaction test. We can see that after uh, doing this compaction test, uh, the total mass of soil that we should have would be our 800, 1,863 grams of solids plus our 224 grams of water. So we should have about 2,087 grams of soil. Some of that is in now in our mold. We extrude that soil out of the mold after doing the compaction test. And we're going to take some of that uh, and put it in our moisture content cup for doing a moisture content test. We'll take the remaining soil, put it back into the container, uh, chop it up to, so it's, we don't have big clumps, and then we need to next determine uh, how much water we need to add to that soil to bring it to 14% um, moisture content. Realizing that we, we previously had 2,087 grams of total mass after taking some of the soil out for moisture content, we'll be back down to about a little, maybe a hundred or so grams less. So we've got about 1,980 grams of soil after we do the compaction test and take some of the soil away uh, for doing a moisture content test. So after compacting the, that first sample in the proctor mold, we have a total mass and, and again, taking some of that mass out uh, for moisture on it, we have 1,980 grams of soil which we believe is at a moisture content of 12%. Now, uh, knowing that, we can determine how much mass of solids we have. 1,980 grams divided by 1 plus 0.12. So now we have 1,768 grams of solids. And we can determine how much water we have by the total mass minus the mass of solids. So we have 212 grams of water. Now we'll do our calculation to determine how much water should be in the soil to have 14% uh, moisture content. So we have the mass of water divided by the mass of solids of 1768 grams for the solids. And we find out that uh, we have, we need to have a total of 248 grams of water to have 14% moisture content. So with 240 grams of water, we already have 212 grams in there. We need to add 36 grams of water or 36 milliliters. And that will get us to our 14% moisture content. So that's the process we follow. We do these same steps again after doing the test to determine how much 
water do we need, need to add to get the soil to 16% and then 18% and 20% moisture content? 